Manchester United fresh from a 4-1 win against CSKA Moscow in Moscow on Wednesday night. They've got to face Crystal Palace, the Premier League cannon fodder at the moment. The only team in England's top five divisions to not score a goal. Rock bottom of the Premier League. Christian Benteke has now torn his ligaments. They really are not coming to Old Trafford at the right time because we are pumping teams left, right and centre. Four against Burton, four against Everton, four against Moscow, four against Swansea, four against West Ham. Will we get four against Crystal Palace? I hope so. I really do hope that Man United put Palace to the sword. And this is my predicted starting 11 for that game. In goal, David De Gea. Of course he is. Again, fantastic out in Moscow. Unlucky to concede at the end. Maybe he was just feeling bad because Akin 5 was playing out of his skin and he conceded four. Right back, I'm going to go for Ashley Young or Matteo Darmian. I'm not really sure what rotation here, but Antonio Valencia could come back. But I just get the feeling that if there are players in this squad, and there are a certain couple of players, who have got little niggling injuries or semi-concerns, Mourinho is going to rest them and then get them to skip international duty and get fully rested for two weeks ahead of Liverpool away. We do not need Valencia to be injured for that. So I'm going to go for, let's go for Darmian at right back. Now for a centre-back partnership, I'm going for Eric Bailly and Chris Smalling. Now I would put Victor Lindelof in here, but this is my predicted 11 and I think Mourinho is going to play it what he considers to be a safer bet in Smalling rather than Lindelof. If Jones has got a semi-niggling injury, he won't be risked for this game. The same goes for Valencia, the same goes for Fellaini, the same goes for Carrick. Don't think Mourinho needs to risk any players against Crystal Palace. And that's why I think we'll see Smalling and Bailly start in the middle. And then Ashley Young at left back, who probably captain the team again. Asher Young captaining Manchester United in 2017 under Jose Mourinho. Would never have predicted that. But I'm going to go Ashley Young at left back, who, to his credit, has played very well since coming back into the team. Midfield partnership, Nemanja Matic and Ander Herrera. Michael Carrick's not going to be fit to play. Paul Pogba's injured. Fellaini's a bit of a doubt. I don't think Mourinho's going to risk him. So Matic and Herrera. Simple. Let's move up front. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated up here because Anthony Martial came off with a limp against CSK Moscow. Henrik Mkhitaryan was replaced as well. So who will Jose Mourinho start? I'm going for Jesse Lingard on the right-hand side. I'm going for Juan Mata in the middle. And I'm going for Marcus Rashford on the left. Simply because I had no reason why Manchester United need to risk any players at all. Maybe he will start Mkhitaryan. I think maybe he will come into the team. But I'm going to go for Lingard, Mata and Rashford. That means Martial's not getting risked. Mkhitaryan's not getting risked. Neither's Jones, neither's Carrick, neither's Valencia. Zero risk policy for this game. And Lukaku up front. Of course it's Lukaku up front. Ten goals in his first nine Manchester United appearances. He's on fire. Started off better than anybody could have expected. It took Ruud van Nistelrooy until November to score ten goals in his debut season as a Manchester United player. Lukaku's already got 10 before the end of September and he's playing Crystal Palace next. Will it be his first hat-trick? Fingers crossed that Man United do deliver against Palace. Hopefully I'm not too confident, but this is my predicted start at 11 for the game. Definitely a few changes in there. Maybe I'm being too pragmatic. Maybe Mourinho will risk a few players. But let me know your predicted 11 in the comments. As always, drop a like on the video, ladies and gents, if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.